My name is Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Uh, uh, when I grew up, it was during apartheid, but we were one close-knit family. And I cannot, I cannot run away from my history. This is what made me what I am growing up in Soweto, you know, um, going to the neighbors to go and ask for bread or for sugar. There was actually no crime in that. There was no shame in going to your neighbors to say, mom says, I can give you half of, of, of loaf of bread. Can you give us tomatoes or onions? That's how I grew up. And there was absolutely no shame in that. We, we lived with one another. We were there for one another. We, we, neighbors would not go to bed without food because we knew each other there. If there was no tomato there, you go to Sistelma. Sistelma gives you onion. You go to Mantela. Mantela gives you sugar. You go to Dam Dam. It was just so amazing. That's how we grew up. And things have changed now. I'm not sure what has gone wrong. I come from a family of three girls. Uh, Doreen, who's my eldest sister, she's a nurse, and Rafilwe, she's my middle sister, she's a teacher, and Yvonne, I'm just me, you know, I'm just my champlain. And um, I must say that uh, I, I'm so grateful to have been born with that family. We are very, very close with my sisters. Yes, we do have our problems and fight like families, and, but um, they are the pillars of my strength. They fight my wars. They make me know that I am Yvonne. My mother augmented her salary by playing Fafi to take us to school and to give us food. She never gave us everything that we wanted. She gave us things that we needed. And for that, I want to say to her, as a girl, I hated everything about you and the things that you did. I did not understand. But today I look back and I say, you were an amazing woman. You are a woman I look up to because you protected us, guarded us, never prostituted us, and did everything so we could feel comfortable with the little that we had. You know what my mother used to say as a domestic worker, she used to say, I don't want you girls to turn out to be like me. I want you to have education because that's the only thing that will ever liberate you. And you never understand when you're a young girl, you think, oh, I want to be, to do modeling, I want to be an actress, or I want to be a lawyer or an accountant. And you ask yourself, there are no sufficient funds in the house to do that. How am I going to do that? And when I started singing at the age of 19, I just completed my metric due to go to, to university. I mean, I only applied at Telfloor because that was the only university that was there. Phil Hollis just then found me and put his money in Yvonne. And I want to say to Phil, thank you very much. He introduced me to uh, Ricky Wolf and Artie van Veek. These are the guys who wrote most of my music from I'm in love with the DJ, thank you Mr. DJ, I'm burning up, Um Komboti. And then Chico came in uh, later to do songs like Um Komboti, Motherland, From Me to You. And um, it was just so amazing uh, that um, somebody could have so much belief in, in one and, and be able to help uplift you and be what you wanted to be. Obviously, he put his money, he did all the other things. I did all the work, singing, making sure that, you know, I've got good outfits, I look good on stage, I rehearse, I perform, and do all sorts of things. And 33 years later, Yvonne is still there performing. I mean, my latest CD called Keep Looking At Me. I'm telling all those fans who supported me, thank you for being there for me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for, you know, just loving me and, and, and being there for me. And that's why I'm saying to them, from my fans, to my children, to my husband, to everyone who loves Yvonne, I'm saying to them, keep looking at me. And uh, for me, when I started singing, it was a great platform for me to tell the world about the atrocities that were happening in South Africa. Because I grew up during apartheid, my mother worked as a domestic worker, we lived in the madam's backyard. And I'm so grateful to Pat. I love you, Pat, wherever you are. I know you're like my mom. You were there. You protected us from uh, white police who wanted to arrest you when you were taking us to Dobsonville. You know, there's absolutely no recipe of being a parent. There's no recipe for a good marriage. It's how you want it to work. It's how you make it work. Um, 
you know, when I met my husband, to me, he could have been a driver, he could have been a painter, he could have been anything. I just saw a guy that I liked. I mean, that he was a doctor, it meant absolutely nothing to me. So I guess he also just saw a girl. You know, he didn't care whether I was a musician or, or whatever. I'd sit in the study, do my research and do my assignments and things like that, go to bed late. He would never complain. You know, he always supported me. And um, that's what made him a very good father. Because whilst I was busy doing my assignment, he would be a great father and mother to the children. Whilst I was gone to perform in London, New York, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania or Cameroon, he would be a great father to the children. You know, in South Africa, we have August as Women's Month. Um, thank you to whoever came with that because, um, you know, we see more women being honored, awarded, appreciated. But my wish is to see women being honored 365 days of the year because we bring life into this world. Why are my rights violated? Why should a woman not be what they want to be? Why should a woman's body be somebody's um, playground? A woman should be allowed to dress the way they want. They should be allowed to walk anywhere they want to walk without any fear or favors, really. Um, I'm a mother of boys and it really hurts me that women's rights get violated, women get killed by the very same partners that are supposed to be loving them, protecting them, protecting them and guarding them. There's something that needs to be done, you know, in the society. What is this world coming to? Because everyone wants to take, take, take and take. Everyone wants to kill, kill and kill. Remember, we are all going to die one day. But for now, let us just love one another, be there for one another, and be free to be what we want to be, both boys and girls, men and women, and anyone who doesn't fit into being a man or a woman, we love you and still respect you the way you are. Who are we to judge? Mm -hmm.